Hello again, everybody. Uh, so, I think I sort of explained what I do, but to more demonstrate what I do, uh, clarify, I put machines together, farm machinery, new farm machinery, uh, for dealers and implements around the country. So far, I've only been in Kansas, then we went to Redwood Falls, Minnesota, and now we're in Atkinson, Nebraska. So this is the type of thing that we're, this is what we're putting together right now. It's actually not finished yet. Um, you can see there's stuff laying on the ground. The shanks. Um, so yeah, this is what we've been look, working on for the last two days here in Atkinson. Let's see here. So it started with just this frame, and then we uh, put all the these things on, there's 13 of them that are on the machine, and then we put the the first part of the hitch on right there, the long piece with the uh, number 870 on it, and then we put uh, let me put that on, the black main piece here, and then did the wings I believe, the towers tires we put on first, because they actually come off. Everything comes in like packages like that. You can see there's two wings over there for a disc. Um, so things like this get put onto semis and then they get shipped to dealers and implements and if they can't put them together themselves then they hire people like AFM Enterprises Incorporated, which I work for, to put it together. So we come and we have our truck full of tools and stuff. We have our own tools. Those are our air hoses. They supply the air. And then we get to work. Oh, all the little stuff, the hardware, comes in boxes like that. And those over there. That's our table. And, um, so yeah. Let's see here. After we did that, then we had to put this humongous thing on. We use a, a forklift most of the time. Um, you know, whatever we can't carry. So, yeah, we put the wings on. Oh, the mainframe. This is the mainframe. These are our wings right here. See? They had to be attached. 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 What else? I don't know. I'm usually the guy that does the littler stuff, the easier stuff, because I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I put these things on myself, though. So. Got a tire and a jack. And see, the tire's not even touching the ground right now. Um. This thing has to be leveled. It's a, a leveler or something or other. Maybe this is just the back part of the leveler. I don't know. Some discs. We actually have to raise it up because the shanks that go on here they can't um, they can't go on right now because it's not high up enough. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, we still have about a day, maybe half a day. He thinks half a day, but I, I don't know. I'd say maybe a day. And then we have another one. I think it might be that. That might be part of it. The stuff that I just showed you over here. And then let's look back here. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Nebraska. Here's some boxes over here. Maybe that's all that's back here. Mm, I don't even think this is our box. Oh yeah, these are the the shanks. They're the uh, the colters that hold the shanks. Big tires. This stuff. 
West Grand Island, Nebraska. I don't know where that is. Grand Island, Nebraska? Royal Schwartz? I don't know. I don't live here. I'm just visiting. So yeah, that's just kind of what we do. And then in... This is a Ripper. 870 Case IH Ripper. This is a bigger one. A big one. And then we got a little one to make it together next. Oh, we got a trailer or something here. Yes. We got to put on the uh, rolling baskets yet. And then we also have to put on the shanks. And then the shanks get uh, those things on each of the, th the 13 shanks. And then they have. Uh, uh, scrapers on each of the 13 chains. These are left and right scrapers. There's a lot more than 26 here. Those are the left ones, I think those are the right ones. Yeah, there's a lot of hardware. Those are empty hardware bags. All those bags have stuff in them. All the bags are marked for where they go. I think this is shank. Oh. Shink, Shins Hardware Bag, uh, let's see here, so yeah, and then those are the discs that go on the way front, the front black thing, we have to put them on yet, then we have to put all the hydraulic hoses, and then we have to raise it up, and then I can put the shims, on, or the, the shanks on, and the scrapers, and the guards, and then, should we just get wrapped up? Oh, we gotta put the lights on, and then I have to tighten these things yet. These things are still, uh, loose. We put these things on today, that's pretty much all we did, and then I tightened these up. So then, when we're, we think we're all done, I go around and check every single bolt, because I'm the tightener guy. I check every single bolt, make sure that's tight. See these, there's a space, but this bolt is tight to here, because it needs to move and stuff. So yeah, just to prove to everybody that I do actually do stuff. I don't just go around and uh, <coughs> visit the most exciting towns in Nebraska. This is not a commercial for Case either. We do other stuff. <laughs>